Hi, let's solve one previous question of dynamic programming. This question was asked in GATE CS 2018, question number 31. Assume that multiplying a matrix G1 of dimension P cross Q with another matrix G2 of dimension Q cross R required P, Q, R scalar multiplication. Computing the product of n matrices G1, G2 up to Gn can be done by parenthesizing in different way. Define G i, G i plus 1 as an explicitly computed pair for a given parenthesization if they are directly multiplied. For example, in the matrix multiplication chain G1, G2, G3, G4, G5, G6 using parenthesization, so first we are multiplying G2, G3, then that result we are multiplying with G1. Here we are multiplying G5, G6, that result we are multiplying with G4 then we are multiplying whole. So here G2, G3 and G5, G6 are explicitly computed pair. Consider a matrix multiplication chain F1, F2, F3, F4, F5 where matrices F1, F2, F3, F4 and F5 are of dimension 2 cross 25, 25 cross 3, 3 cross 16, 16 cross 1 and 1 cross 1000 respectively. In the parenthesization of F1, F2, F3, F4, F5 that minimize the total number of scholar multiplication, the explicitly computed pair each or R and 4 options are given. I will solve in two way, one without dynamic programming, one with dynamic programming. So first analyze the dimension, here F5 dimension is 1 cross 1000. This 1000 is a higher value. So that we cannot keep middle, that should be at last. Matrix F5 is of dimension 1 cross 1000 which will increase the multiplication cost. So that's why we will keep it at last. Now check the option, option A, F1, F2 and F3, F4. So do the parenthesis like this, F1, F2, multiplication, then F3, F4, multiplication, then whole multiplied by F5. If we multiply F1, F2, then this result dimension will be 2 cross 3, F3, F4, this result dimension will be 3 cross 1. Then option B, F2, F3. If we multiply F2, F3, then the resulting dimension will be 25 cross 16. It's increasing. So this cannot be the answer. Next check option C. F3, F4 only. Means first will multiply F3 with F4. That result will multiply with F2. That result will multiply with F1. Then that result will multiply with F5. Next option D, F1, F2 and F4, F5. F4, F5 cannot be as it will include the 1000. So option D is not possible. Now just check these two possibility try to multiply and get the answer what is the minimum minimum will be this so just check these two possibility from these two possibility minimum will be this so f3 f4 3 multiplication 16 multiplication 1 it's 48 now this result dimension is 3 cross 1 f2 dimension is 25 cross 3 now F2 with this F3, F4. So 25 multiplication 3. It will be 75. Now this whole dimension is 25, 1. So F1 is 2 multiply 25. So 2 multiplication 25, it will be 50. Now this whole dimension from F1 till F4 is 2 cross 1. F5 dimension is 1 cross 1000. So we will multiply 2 multiplication 1000, it's 2000. Now add all this, we will get 2173. And explicitly computed pair is F3, F4. So answer will be 
option C. So after excluding F5, we have four matrix and for four matrix, there are five different parenthesization. So to find the minimum number of multiplication, you need to check five different parenthesization. Suppose you apply the trick, you are not checking all five, you are just checking two parenthesization, then from that which one will be minimum? So let's apply dynamic programming to find the parenthesization. I'm not doing for all five matrix, I'm just doing for four matrix as F5 will be at last. So F1 dimension is 2 plus 25, F2 dimension is 25 plus 3, F3 dimension is 3 plus 16, F4 dimension is 16 plus 1. Then P0 is 2, P1 is 25, P2 is 3, P3 is 16, P4 is 1. And we will create two table, one for multiplication and another for split, M and S. M table dimension will be 1 to 4 and 1 to 4, whereas S table dimension will be 1 to 3, 1 to N minus 1 and in J, 2 to N. And we have a formula Mij equals to 0 if I equals to J else it will be m of i k plus m of k plus 1 j plus p i minus 1 p k p j if i less than j and this k value will be greater than equals to i and less than j so first m of 1 1 m of 2 2 m of 3 3 and m of 4 4 will be 0 as i equals to j next we will find m of 1 2 for m of 1 2 k equals to 1 so when there is just one k value, this m of i k and m of k plus 1 j will be 0. We just need to find this p i minus 1 multiplication p k multiplication p j. For m of 1 2 here m of 1 1 plus m of 2 2. So these both m value are 0 plus p of 0 i is 1. So i minus 1 is 0 p of 1, p of 2. p of 0 is 2, p of 1 is 25, p of 2 is 3. So 2 multiplication 25, multiplication 3. It's 150. Like this we can find m of 2, 3. It will be 25 multiplication 3, multiplication 16. Then m of 3, 4, 3 multiplication 16 multiplication 1 it's 48 now writing table m of 1 2 is 150 m of 2 3 is 1200 m of 3 4 is 48 now s of 1 2 will be 1 as k value is 1 s of 2 3 is 2 s of 3 4 is 3 next we will find m of 1 3 for that k can be 1 and 2 we need to check for k value 1 and k value 2 then from that which one is minimum that will write here now for k equals to 1 m of 1 1 this is i this is k then m of 2 3 this is k plus 1 and this is our j then p 0 that is p i minus 1 then k p k it's p 1 then p j p j is p 3 m of 1 1 is 0, m of 2 3 is 1200, p0 is 2, p1 is 25, p3 is 16. So we got 2000. Next for k equals to 2, m of 1 2 plus m of 3 3 plus p0 multiplication p2 multiplication p3, m of 1 2 is 150, then m of 3 3 is 0, then p0 is 2, p2 is 3, and p3 is 16 so we got 246 and that is the minimum you don't need to find both you know m of 2 3 is 1200 that is more and for k value 2 we got minimum so s of 1 3 will be 2 you can skip this step you can just check this as m of 2 3 is 1200 next we will find m of 2 4 k will be 2 and 3 First k equals to 2 m of 2 2 plus m of 3 4 plus p1 multiplication p2 multiplication p4 m of 2 2 is 0 m of 3 4 is 48 now p1 is 25 p2 
2 is 3, P4 is 1, we will get 1, 23. Now for k equals to 3, m of 2, 3. m of 2, 3 is 1200. You can skip this step. You know that we will get more than 123. 1200 is more than 123, so anyway we will get higher result. Here we are getting 1600. So from these two, minimum is 123. Write in M of 2, 4, 123 and S of 2, 4 will be 2. As for K equals to 2, we got the minimum. So you don't need to check for all K value if there is a possibility that it will give more result. Next we will find M of 1, 4. That's the final. For that K will be 1, 2 and 3. First for K equals to 1. M of 1, 1 plus M of 2, 4 plus P0 multiplication P1 multiplication P4. M of 1, 1 is 0. M of 2, 4 is 123. Then P0 is 2. P1 is 25. P4 is 1. We will get 173. Next for K equals to 2. M of 1, 2 plus M of 3, 4 plus P0 multiplication P2 multiplication P4. M of 1, 2 is 150. M of 3, 4 is 48, P0 is 2, P2 is 3 and P4 is 1. We will get 204. Next we will find for K equals to 3, M of 1, 3 plus M of 4, 4 plus P0, P3, P4. M of 1, 3 is 246. 246 value is greater than 173. So you can stop here. M of 4, 4 is 0, P0 is 2, P3 is 16, P4 is 1, we will get 278. M of 1, 4 will be 173, S of 1, 4 will be 1. As for K equals to 1, we got this value. Now go to the table, next we will add the bracket. We have F1, F2, F3 and F4. S of 1 to 4 is 1. So after 1, there will be bracket. Next, S of 2, 4 is 2. After 2, there will be bracket. Then 3, 4, it's 3. And F5, that will multiply largely. So multiplication F5. So this will be our final parenthesization. F3, F4 is the explicitly pair. So F1 to F4 multiplication result is 173. Now multiply with F5. This dimension is 2 cross 1 and F5 dimension is 1 cross 1000. So 173 plus 2 multiplication 1 multiplication 1000 it will be 2173. And here explicit pair is F3, F4. I already discussed matrix multiplication. Just go through that. And if this lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.